Hello guys, uh, it's been a while since I last put up the video of Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. Now I'm gonna continue, I think I just finished the case of, uh, what's that called? Um, the Ghost of the Past? Yeah, uh, I solved that murder case already, Luke was the murderer. And now we are going in to the next chapter. So yeah, we, so last time I ended up here, um, so what should I do now? Guys, give me a, give me a minute, I'm gonna check. Modest love, my imaginary friend, John. Wait a minute. My imaginary friend, John. John has been my friend since childhood. I cannot remember a time without him. He cannot accept that only I can see him. So, the John is an imaginary friend. A free ride for every hotel visitor. Just tell me where to go. Wait, hold on a sec. Okay, so that was supposed to be done. Hmm. That's why he's been nagging Is about. All right? Like, if you don't feel up to it, I won't tell anyone. It's just a goodbye, John. It won't be difficult. I've already come to terms with my mother's passing. Hmm. So you really don't remember? To what do you refer? Funeral. Sherlock, you were distraught. At first, I thought this visit would dredge up those feelings, but you've been remarkably level, John. I think I was too young to understand. I couldn't fathom why she would leave me. Perhaps that pain is best left forgotten. Sorry. It's why I'm visiting her grave. To remember her. I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come back to you. All right, John. I'll do as you say. Ask the receptionist about my room. It's time to visit the cemetery. Hmm? What? I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come back to you. Okay, John. I think this must be something about John, like memories about John. Sorry. A bunch of asters, mother's favorite flowers. Remembering the funeral. John asked if I knew remember my mother's funeral, but I don't. Sorry, I don't, but I can try to recall something. Pin the evidence and yep. Mycroft was adamant that we leave for London immediately after the funeral. He never told me why, but I saw how unsettled he was by the long requiem. All these people look like a stick figure. Hmm? What else? The service was sparsely attended. Though my parents were buried separately, the pastors said they're united in heaven. I didn't believe them even then. Okay. They are carrying a case. There are people carrying this. Coffin. I wanted to see her one last time before the coffin was interred and say how I loved her. The chance never came. I I feel I rather faint. You're fine, you're fine. It's over now. You remembered everything. It 
will get easier soon. I think he hasn't come to terms with certain aspects of his memories, that's why he felt faint. Okay. pocket watch it seems familiar john why is it here <laughs> you can't see anything with concentrated concentrated vision that's so weird rest in peace violet rest in homes. peace violet homes Goodbye, mother. Oh, she passed. She was only 40. Okay. Um. This watch was a gift. My mother's initials are engraved on it. The piece is in good condition. It must have been placed here only recently. Only recently? Someone must have visited the grave. We don't know who it is. Oh, yeah. The, of course, the lit candle. A candle in a small puddle of wax. It cannot have been lit for more than half an hour. Is this really how you want to spend this time? This is my mother's pocket watch, John. Who put it here and why? Are you not in the slightest bit interested? I can try to recall my mother's funeral. Is there anything else that I need to check? This is excessive, Sherlock. Can you not let the mystery be? Perhaps I can pin this evidence and ask around. Wait, hold on a sec. The footprints. A man in fashionable shoes stood near the tomb. The size of the prince suggests he is approximately five and a half feet tall. Five and a half feet tall. You were about to tell me the make and model of tire, but let me assure you, I do not care. Hmm. Ah, well, it was going to be very impressive. Come on then, the trail continues ahead. E? The trays can tell me about something. You mustn't be far <laughs> away to leave it unattended. <laughs> it's stained with oil paint. Oil paint splatter. Uh, this. The hospital are crypts. If memory serves, they're located at the far end of the cemetery around an old tree. Am I holding this upside down? Yes. The okay. hospital are crypts. If memory serves, they're located at the far end of the cemetery around an old tree. I hope that inspiration strikes upon visiting these beautiful vaults. At the very least, you'll enjoy the view. Yours, Mercuria. What am I missing here? God damn it. A portable easel was kept there. An artist working in a cemetery. Do you think he'd paint my portrait? I didn't know I had to use concentrated vision. The fuck? Are you alright, sir? You don't look well. 
Okay. Enjoy your good sleep. Boss. Could you help me? Your money doesn't depress me. Oh, it's that ridiculous artist from the hotel. Of course it's him. Be nice, Sherry. Make friends. Mr. Holmes, did you come for another portrait? <laughs> no, no, I jest. You gave quite the performance last night. The hotel was abuzz with your name. I must say I was rather absorbed in it all. The fallibility of men. Such scandal. It was a welcome distraction. Oh, my manners. I am Werner Vogel, art enthusiast and gallery proprietor. Mr. Vogel, I was perhaps too curt when last we spoke. Speak no more of it. Travel takes it out of any man, never mind when this is your destination. Once I learned who you were, the pieces fell into place. Your mother was well liked on Cadona in her time here. I was sorry to hear of her passing. How did you come to possess my mother's pocket watch? Oh my! It is quite something to witness those powers of deduction firsthand. Yes, I... I left you her timepiece. After her death, there was an estate sale. All of Cordona's elite picking of her remains. I couldn't let such a lovely thing go to those vultures. When I learned your name, I could no longer keep the watch in good conscience. It is yours by right, and I knew you'd find it here. Thank you. I've forgotten all about it, but the moment I saw it, I knew it was hers. Amazing what the young mind forgets and the older can recall. Rather odd, loitering in a cemetery. I suspect you'll win, but I'm here for my art. There's beauty everywhere if you look, even in decay. A little darkness brings out the light. Now, a diligent observer might note that you too are loitering in a cemetery. What brings you here? Closure answers penance. Closure. I suppose. And what is closure? Mere proximity? Understanding. Acceptance. You didn't <laughs> understand from afar. You had to come here to accept the truth of her death? Of course I understand. She died of consumption drowning in her own blood. Your mother? Yes, my mother. Hmm. I must have been misinformed. I'd heard otherwise. Otherwise than consumption? No, no. You'd know better than I. I'd heard talk of a police investigation, but Cordona is a notorious gossip. Now what does it matter? She's passed on either way. She has. Well, I shall intrude no longer. I leave you to your closure. Do stop by the gallery if your travels permit. Farewell. Are you all right, Sherry? Take as long as you need. Hmm. Whatever I need, it isn't here. We should explore Cordona. Perhaps there are archives that may shed further light. Nice to see you, Verno. Oh, Mr. Vogue. How do you say that name? Vogel? Vogo? <laughs> the archives at the City Hall, Police Station and Cordona Chronicle may hold key information for your case. Oh, I see. When investigating a piece of evidence, think about which location is the most appropriate to visit. He's odd, Sherry. Even odder than I. Um, probably. You are an imaginary friend of mine. I don't think you are... I don't think that guy was any weirder than you. So clearly this indicator means that I have to search in the archives and I think the archives probably refer to the police archives. So we have to head to the police station right here. <coughs> My God, I'm lagging.
Burner Ball Vogel mentioned that there was a police investigation into my mother's death. Do I have to walk all the way to the police station? Are you able to help me? So, you think if you have money, we should bow to your whims? No, sir. <laughs> okay. Um... May I ask for your assistance? I'd rather bite a snake than talk to you. This isn't working. You might need a different tack. Is this familiar to you? Don't think I can trust you. I see. So these people um, kind of look down on the. Uh, kind of look down on the people who have a better privilege than them. I don't blame them though. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Are you looking for trouble? Because I can find you some. <laughs> He's a smuggler. Everyone here sounds like a savage. Can I ask you a question? His Majesty came out of his palace. I know nothing. Chicken, you satisfy? Can you satisfy my curiosity? And extra, extra, Luca, what you've done! Criminal Luca Galici, posing as a medium, confesses to the strangulation of a noble woman. Sorry, man. The cheapest news on the island. Cheapest news. Thank you. Oh. You have money system in here. Let's see. So, consequences. Look at what the what you've done. A fan of the occult got more than she bargained for after a visit to the to a spiritualist. Her own death. Police arrested Luca Galici, the famous medium at Il Palazzo de Luso, after he remorsefully confessed to the murder of the noble woman. In an unlikely development, the investigation was initiated but not by the police but another guest at the hotel, Mr. Sherlock Holmes. The investigation sorry, the investigating officer said that the crime appears to be the consequence of the of a theft carried out during Mr. Galici's seance. Hmm. Okay, sources tell the Chronicle that Galici has a checkered past and ought to be expect severe consequences for this latest transgression. There you go. A bad guy arrested and charged for the crime. So here we are, the Codona police station. Good John. Uh, I can't read that. Sadly. So I'm going. Here we are. Stark do this, Stark do that. I'm not a clerk, damn it. How am I supposed to get those records now? Yes, what is it? Would you like to report a crime? No, I wouldn't. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I want to use the police archives. Wouldn't we all? I'm serious. So am I. Officer Logan locked himself inside and he's not letting anyone in. What happened exactly? A tailoress from Scaladio has been robbed. Logan spent two whole days at the shop sketching the thief and she still insists that it's all wrong. That shrew drove him up the wall, she did. But why the archives? Won't that stall everyone's work? You bet it will. He's looking up all the thieves in Cordona over the past decade. Say one thing for Logan. He's persistent. Sure he's stubborn. Would you mind if I talk to this tailoress? I could get you the sketch in no time. Get off your high horse, mister. 
You think <laughs> you're better than our sketch artist? Actually, I'm quite certain I am. Let me prove it. <laughs> well, I see no harm in it, as long as it gets Logan out of there. In fact, I need to look up some records too. Here's the address. Good luck. Dun, dun. We got a new case, the Master of Disguise. Did John just throw a conjure? <laughs> no, the god of conjure. Everyone's starting to look at us. Oh, okay. Um. This guy's. Do uh, investigate this. Sketching a thief. I think we have a new objective. Police need to get a sketch of the thief who robbed Mr. Nene's atelier. The sketch artist was unable to capture the likeness of the culprit. Hmm. But my disguise skills may prove more effective. The atelier is located at the intersection of Knights RD and Trinity Way of Galadio. Okay. Do this. Sorry, I'm busy now. Okay. Go out now. <laughs> Help me, please. I don't talk to strangers. You're walking without any shoes on. Poor kid. Hey, this kid. Is this Offer familiar your shoes, to you? please. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I know nothing about that. This isn't working. You might need it. Hmm. Now we are going to um, the intersection of Knights RD, Knights Road, and Trinity Way. Mm. Galadio. Where is that on the map? Knights RD. And so this is Knights RD. Trinity. Oh, the intersection. So it's right. Different tack. Hmm. Are you able to help me? Nothing I can tell you, sir, but others might know more. I'm hey. oh, sorry. Here it is. What should I do? My disguise skills may prove more effective. Help me, please. I've heard something, but actually, no. Never mind. I know nothing. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> What are we doing here? Can I ask you a question? I cannot be of help, sir. Someone else might know better. Do you know anything about this? A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. You obviously haven't thought this all. May I ask you something? Just annoying a solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer.
I'm at the intersection already. <laughs> that was so dumb of me to uh, ask everyone around about it. I uh, any clue about this place. I'm pleased to meet you, ma'am. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm here to sketch the thief for the police investigation. Oh, another one. I hope you'll be more patient than the previous sketches, signore. Signore. <laughs> Can you describe the thief for me? He was all ugly and beat up looking. An utter rascal, if ever I'd seen one. He gave me a nasty look from behind his glasses and then made himself scarce. And that's it? Could you be more specific? He was a total villain, I told you. How much more specific do you want me to be? All right, never mind. I suggest we do it differently. You have a great many clothes here, haven't you? Why, of course, but they're not for sale. I only do tailoring and mending. No matter. I'll attempt to disguise myself as the thief, and you'll tell me if I get it right. As you wish, Signor Holmes. Where can I find the clothes? They're in my workshop, at the back. Uh, be careful, won't you? Okay. So, in the back... Hold on a sec, I can go check this myself. What can I do for you, Sherlock? Take off your shirts, please. Just kidding. You hit dead ends with your investigations if you don't dress appropriately. Luckily, Sherlock has a penchant for disguise, so visit the wardrobe menu to change his outfit. Wardrobe items acquired. Two wardrobe items acquired. I don't know what to do here. Why did they make him so pretty? Please. Sherlock must sometimes wear a disguise to proceed with an investigation. When evidence in the casebook is marked with this icon, when access is blocked by someone who doesn't look like, who doesn't like your look. Okay. When making inquiries, but bystanders aren't willing to talk. Visit a clothing trader to get the outfit you need. This is the map icon. Hmm. Are we good to go? To get a sketch of the thief. He one? did wear glasses, but not like those. His were angular and evil looking. All right, I'll try another pair. <laughs> you can't change clothes here. I see. Hey. Your face is too innocent now. What do you mean, too innocent? There was something evil about his face. Like a moustache. Yes! The kind that all villains twirl as they plot their evil plans. I'd say that not all villains wear moustaches, but I get your point, ma'am. Ma'am. Should have mentioned those details. Dodge. Okay. Come on. No, those clothes are wrong. He was dressed in a very fancy beige suit. Must have stolen it from someone. No doubt about it. All right, I've got it. He was wearing a hat. 
Didn't I tell you about the hat? No. It didn't go well with his suit. That man had no dress sense at all. Well, what did it look like? Oh, just a regular hat, you know, black. What are you doing in there, John? John has wares, if you have coin. That is wrong. I told you it was a regular bowler. You didn't tell me it was a bowler. But I did. You ought to pay more attention, Signore. You have a dementia, lady. Ah, it's you. I mean, it's him. It's him! <laughs> Excellent. Now I can make a sketch and take it to the police. Yes, sir. Please do. That rascal is still on the loose. I hope they are better at catching than sketching. Before I go, Mum, are you quite certain that you don't have any clothes to sell? Well, I suppose you can take the police uniform. An officer forgot it here years ago and I don't have any use for it. If you want to buy clothes, visit the outfitters. You can find them all over Codorna. I hear they even do free rentals now. Let me show you where the nearest one is. Thank you very much. So... Oh, okay. So we've done the sketches. Well, we need to use the closing or disguises so as a fee. Okay, we got all the details. <laughs> Page Black, the portrait of the thief who robbed Mr. Nini's atelier. Atelier 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 Guys, I just I just checked Google and um, that is pronounced as Italia. <laughs> it was the first time I saw that word. So, where do we go? Facebook. The police need to get a sketch. Okay, now we have to. I can take it back to Constable Stark. I get a free ride. Sorry. Could you help me? A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. I like your gun, sir. It's very cool. Looks like a shotgun. Hello again, officer. I've spoken to the tailoress and made a sketch of the thief. It was child's play. No, really? And she didn't give you any trouble? No, no trouble at all. She was quite tolerable. Huh. Who would have thought? Hey, Logan, we've got the sketch. Come on out. Can I use the archives now? Well, they're generally not accessible to the public. But you really helped us out, so I'll just turn a blind eye. I appreciate it, officer. What did you say your name was? Holmes? Come and see me after you're done. I may have a proposition for you, Mr. Holmes. Okay, um, thanks for the money. K. 
Okay, um... What are we gonna do now? The police archives is in the back. Oh, uh, inspector's archives. Here it is. May I ask you something? I usually have an answer for everything, but not for this. Fargo story. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, <laughs> there's so much to look for: violent crimes, property crimes, smuggling, misdemeanors, complaints. There will be something about it in the police archives. To my mother's death. Ten years ago, we were living somewhere in Grand Saray. Grand Saray. Uh huh. Oh. Okay, I see. So evidence. Subject. Hmm. This is this a violent crime? Subjects Victims Evidence Okay All I found in the archive was an empty folder labeled Thursday. Case of Violet Holmes, April 9th, 1869. Stonewood Ma Manor, Grand Saray. There are no documents inside at all. It seems that there was, there really was a police investigation, yet all the case files are missing. So? John, I just recalled that we were living here on Cordona, in a manor, and there was a policeman. Really? What else do you remember? What happened to our mother? The memory was vague, a, a mere flash. I have to find our house. Absolutely. Let's do it. Interesting. Let's find a house. I'm done with the archives for now. Can I help you with anything else? <laughs> as a matter of fact, you can. The thing is, our chief inspector has vanished, as if we weren't undermanned enough as it is. Wait, what do you mean, vanished? Gone missing on a case. Shady business, but that's besides the point. See that board? Pending cases are posted there for any available officers to investigate. I would take them myself, except that I've been told to work the reception desk, like some clerk. Yes. We're that short-handed. I understand your predicament, but what does any of it have to do with me? I may be available, but I'm certainly not an officer. Oh, don't worry about it. Consider yourself a temporary one-man independent police force. <laughs> That's a bit of a mouthful. There's just one small, minor, basic formality. You'll need to complete our physical training course. Easy. Well, I'm not one to balk at a spot of exercise. What must I do? Ask the spirit. Sergeant Ermy will show you the ropes. Follow me. Are we in the prison? Okay. So, you're a newcomer. We must be desperate to ask untrained civilians for help. You're lucky to have a well-trained civilian with a brand new auto pistol in his arsenal. An automatic? A bit of a braggart, aren't you? Are you trying to test me already? That is why you're <laughs> here, boy. I need to verify your skills before I can allow you to catch criminals. The first targets are in the next room. You know what mm. to do with them. Mm -hmm. I'll join you in a while to see the results. Okay. K 
Okay, tough guy. Where do we go now? Go on. Shoot the targets. Shoot what target? Go on. Shoot the targets. Concentrate, Sherry. You need to hit every target to show the sergeant how we do it. How we do it. Mm. So you are a part of Sherry. Mm. To aim, press right click and then fire with left click. Aiming activates slow motion and highlights objects you can shoot but only for a limited time. To manually reload the pistol, press R. Oh. oh my god. For fuck's sake. <laughs> it, it hurts my ear. Well, never mind. Wait, what? I need to recharge for the... Oh, See to the next room. Meanwhile, I'll fill out the paperwork. <laughs> Move on to the next room, new boy. Come on, Sherry. It's just That's like in charge. Press left control to toggle between standing and crouching. Oh. Nice. For fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you, John, if you keep distract me. Kill you, John, if you keep distracting me. Nope, I can't. To row press space. Press space, okay. Steady, Sherry. Steady. And go. What is this? <laughs> My favorite mannequins for attack. Let's strike them ninja style. Aim for where you might take advantage and don't forget the environment. Shooting these will open your foe up for arrest. Highlighting enemy weak points. Okay. The Amy's snuff's ready. I could do this all day. Please don't, Sherry. We don't have that much time. Let's move on. Our enemies might be stronger than us, but we rely on our wits. Shoot off their armor. Hey. All right, let's move on, Sherry. If you stand here and use your snuff box on them, you can definitely overcome them, Sherry. It's all calculated. Blow his snuff box at nearby enemies to disorient them. Just press X. Just press X. Oh, sorry. Need to be close. Must be recharged after each use. But every arrest you make speeds up the recharge. A stunt opponent is marked with a timer above their head. Follow the on-screen prompts to arrest the enemy before the time's up. Each arrest is award rewarded with coin and John's approval. John is against killing, so he won't be happy if you kill someone. Kill anyone. When aiming, combat automatically goes into slow motion. Its duration is limited. Recharging after use is automatic. Okay. Oh, okay. Got it. The helmet can only be shot off after every other piece of armor has been removed. Hmm. Regular instruments. You can restore health by arresting enemies. Additionally, if low, Sherlock's health will restore slightly after several clear seconds of receiving no further damage. Arrest will also 
recharge your snuff box faster, so you can stun and arrest further enemies more quickly. Hold the button, hold the escape button to skip the entire combat sequence. However, you will sacrifice all potential rewards. Combat can only be skipped at the time the beginning cutscene runs. I see. Stun them using their weak point, the environment, or your snuff box. So, just press Look at that this. helmet of his. You won't be able to get the powder past it. Helpful advice, John. I would never have guessed. Good job, new boy. Well, almost finished with the paperwork. Let's talk about your results. Well, I must say your results aren't as bad as I feared. Perhaps you're not completely hopeless, but true combat is quite different from shooting stationary targets. I'll handle it just as easily. Well, that's what we're going to find out. Now, we'll test you against our men. Your task is to detain them, not to kill them. So don't go shooting anyone in the eye. That goes for in the field as well. Even though you'll be working with the police department, that doesn't mean you have a license to kill. Here, take these. They are blank rounds. So, are you ready? I'm ready. Always ready. Then let's get cracking. Worried? Not at all. I can hit them all with one shot. Good luck, Sherry, and remember, the surroundings are your playground. Surroundings is your playground. Follow the cues promptly to mobilize your foes. I see, okay. So. I'm coming. I couldn't miss the party. Overcome him. Don't rush. I'm so confused. I'm coming, I'm coming for you. No, no. Overcome him. Don't rush. I couldn't miss the party. Um, guys, I'm fucked. I can't. I can't kill him. Use your surrounding. Oh, okay. Come here, you little bitch. Wait, what? Wait, what? I have to press A. I'm coming for you. Okay. I'm coming for you. Oh, Give him sorry. the pepper snuff. Wait, what? No, no. Um. No, no. Time for you until next month. Oh. 
Now the... Take a rest. The snuff's ready. That's enough. You've proved yourself. I almost fell that test. On the arrests. <laughs> I can't believe you did so well with the close combat. I did tell you that I'm well trained. Well, do the same on the street, and you'll be well rewarded for every arrest you make. Here is your certificate. You are now an authorized crime scene consultant. Well, it's now your duty to make this city a safer place. Cordona won't ever forget it, but at the same time, it will never remember. I'll tell Stark all the necessary details about your successful certification. Congratulations. Now Congratulations, I didn't die consultant. from all that. Congratulations. Hey. Thank you, my friend. Now, shall we head for Stonewood Manor? Don't know. You have the whole island to investigate. It's all up to you. <sighs> Can't believe I made it. A bandit lair has been marked on your map. Press details to open the how to play screen. All I found the archive was an empty folder labeled firstly case of wallet Holmes ever, blah 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 Okay, I've completed the, the firearm test or training, whatever you call it. So I'm gonna see you guys in the next video and I hope you like it. So goodbye.